welcome back to the channel. Today is a very nice day because uh, I got a package from UPS and uh, this is a radio I've been looking forward to for a very long time. So let's do the quick, quick unboxing. The VRN7600. This is the upgraded version of the VRN7500 and it's the mobile version of the VRN76. So really high expectations uh, for this uh, radio and uh, with any luck <laughs> it, it will live up to at least some of them because the last product I got from uh, Vero which was this one was a huge disappointment. There's a video for that. I'll uh, see if I can make a, a link maybe up there somewhere. You can watch uh, my disappointment with this uh, microphone. But uh, let's not focus on that today. Let's focus on this new radio. Just uh, before we start, I want to show you something uh, a little bit funny, and that's that uh, the shipping containers for the VRN7600 is actually an inside out shipping box for the VR6900. Uh, I just found that funny, so I had to share. With that out of the way, let's uh, open it up and see what's inside. This is the first time I'm opening this box, so let's uh, find out together. There's a user manual and a, an operating manual for the uh, app. I think that's the first time ever I've gotten an operating manual for a, a, an iPhone app. Let's see, this is for mounting probably. Yep. This is uh, quickly turning into an unboxing. I don't really care for them, but... Uh, just in case you're curious and want to see what's in the box, it might be useful. I'll just run through this really quickly. Yeah, mounting bracket, no big surprise there. This is one of the huge news uh, for this uh, radio. The hand mic, which was just a hand mic on uh, the uh, 7500, is now does not have a screen on it. And uh, that, I think, will make a noticeable difference on the usability of this radio. Oh, okay, if we can manage to unwrap it. Let's see? Oh, we look at that. That's so lovely. We'll uh, continue digging. We'll see what else is in the box. There is... Uh, this is probably for the microphone. Oh, and that is so much nicer than the uh, the clip, the clip that was on the uh, the microphone for the uh, um, for the wireless mic. That was huge, but this is nice and small and slim. And there's double-sided tape and a clip holder. I'm not going to put this on quite uh, quite yet. We'll see if we end up doing that. All sorts of uh, mounting hardware: screws, washers, nuts. And uh, two spare fuses. It's uh, <laughs> a little bit disconcerting, but it's all right. Let's continue digging. And the radio. Let's see if I can manage to get that out of its bag. <laughs> it says not to transmit without an antenna. That's uh, that's uh, always good. Ooh. And it looks good too. It looks better than the previous one. I'll show them to you side by side in a minute. We'll just uh, continue the unboxing. And uh, yeah, power cable. That's the unboxing done. Uh, let's put the inconsequentials to the side. And uh, have a look at the things that matter, which is the very nice new handheld microphone with the screen on it. Basically, I think uh, this is meant to have all the same functions as the uh, VRN76 handheld uh, on this uh, screen, but you get them with a 45 stroke uh, 55 watt uh, mobile radio instead of the handheld. That could be very cool. Uh, okay, what to do next? Let me show you the radio side by side with the old one. Let's see if you can see this. Yeah. So. It looks to be basically the same box that it's built into, but this uh, has this protruding uh, thing in front. I'm not quite sure why, but I don't care. And uh, honestly, looking at it from the front, 
I think it looks better. Uh, this, I've been told, is uh, a USB port for charging. I find that <laughs> interesting that they uh, selected to put a charge port in front of the, on the radio. But uh, yeah, maybe that's a good idea. Uh, it could be if you put this in the car and also bring along the uh, VRN76. You have some place to, uh, to charge the uh, HT as well. Yeah, maybe that's why. Other than that, weight-wise, seems to be about the same. Maybe a tiny bit heavier. I don't think the weight is really important to, uh, to this review. Uh, if uh, anyone's really interested, please let me know. I'll, uh, I'll do uh, a weigh-in. That's about uh, all we can do as far as an unboxing goes. I think I'll just have to find a uh, power cable and we'll see if we can uh, turn this thing on and uh, do at least some, uh, some uh, voice testing. So I will uh, meet you back here in a little while when I find a uh, power cable and some sort of antenna that we can stick on this. We're back. I managed to find a uh, cable and uh, I've also put on an antenna. This is, uh, oh, I can't remember, it's RH770, I think it's a telescopic uh, antenna that I use for the 705 when I do use that for two meters or 70 cents. Um, and uh, we turned it on and I've already discovered my first, uh, well, let's call it a niggle. Uh, for turning the volume up and down, you have to, it's a very nice, of course, you can turn the volume up and down from uh, from the hand mic, but to do it, you use these two buttons on the side. So turning the volume down, you press and wait, and wait, and wait. Because if you try and press, uh, push uh, quickly, twice, it will mute it. <laughs> Bloody annoying. Uh, I'm sure this is something that uh, can easily can easily be fixed with a firmware upgrade. It's, uh, it's a little bit annoying. Let's see if we can figure out something else. I think uh, the next thing to do would be to uh, connect an app to this to do something uh, useful, like changing the frequency. Let me uh, try and pair this with a phone and I'll uh, get back to you. We're back with a phone and uh, let's see if we can find the, yeah, the HT app. And uh, I have uh, listed uh, my device, the uh, N76, but I think to put this in pairing mode, I think you double click the power button. You do, and it turns up. It's working quite nicely. Pair, yes, please. <laughs> All right, uh, kudos to uh, Vero for making that uh, really smooth, very nice. Next thing I wanna do, I wanna see if I can hear some uh, some APRS there. So we will enter uh, enter the APRS uh, frequency in uh, memory number 32. And uh, around these parts, that's 144800. And let's see, TX power low, yeah, that works for me. And uh, we should probably remove pre in uh, the emphasis. I'll save that. Switch to that channel. See if we can figure out how to set it up for APRS. Maybe that's under settings somewhere. I've done this for the N76, so I should be able to, uh, to figure this out. Data mode, APRS, very nice. We'll, uh, yep, that's a nice path to have, at least for testing. And uh, we can, yeah, why not enable uh, that? That's gonna give us some shorter messages. Um, the icon, um, okay. Let's do the walking uh, man. The call sign will be uh, Lima Bravo 5, no. Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet. Save and of course there's a yeah different setting for SSID. So let's pick uh, twelve. All right, that's it. Data mode, channel, current channel. All right, so let's pick channel thirty-two. That uh, may be it. 
You think it is? Let's see. Let's go back and uh, back. And uh, let's see, I ideally, I would want this not to be in uh, dual channel mode. That's just going to cause uh, problems. Basically, all these uh, relatively inexpensive radios, they only have one receiver. So if you have a dual VFO display, that means it's just, it's just scanning between the two frequencies that are on there. And uh, that's not going to do you any good if you, um, if you want to do APRS. So let's see if we can figure out how to turn that off. Uh, double channel, single channel. Is a single channel, please. Much better. And we are on APRS. If you're buying this radio and uh, intend to use it with an iPhone, you may be a little bit disappointed. It's not really working brilliantly, this uh, app. Then, uh, well, it does receive APRS. So we are, uh, we at least managed that. Let's see if we can send a message. Uh, all right, <laughs> T call. I have no idea how to do this. Honestly, uh, Vero, if you're seeing this video, fix the iPhone app. This is, it's embarrassing, but it seems to be working. We will do a uh, voice test, I think, with this to see what it sounds like. Because uh, so far I've had uh, different uh, Vero products. Um, you saw the, uh, this uh, thing's uh, older brother, the uh, VRN7500. Uh, I haven't used that yet, actually. I just, uh, I just traded that with the uh, LB0 Fox India uh, Morton. Because um, uh, there was something wrong with it that made it impossible to update the firmware. So I, I just haven't had time to use it. But there's another Vero product that I'm very happy with, which is the uh, VRN76. I've been very happy with that. So if this uh, is anything like it, then I'm sure I will be happy. But then again, there's this, uh, uh, <laughs> what they call a microphone, the BHM79, which uh, is complete crap. At least uh, the one I got is complete crap. So very excited to see whether or not this is any good. And uh, one of the important bits is that it sounds reasonable. So let me just set up for a quick voice test and uh, I'll meet you back here when I have the cameras and the microphones in place. LB5 uh, Juliet, uh, Juliet uh, testing, uh, testing the uh, Vero VRN7600, transmitting from the FT5DR into the Vero VRN7600. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, if a woodchuck could chuck wood, a woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could. This is Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet, testing. Lima Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet, testing. This is uh, transmitting from the Vero VRN7600 into the FT5D. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? If a woodchuck could chuck wood, a woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could. Uh, Bravo 5, Juliet, Juliet, testing. Let's uh, sum up what we've uh, discovered so far. This is uh, only the first of many tests, I can promise you, with uh, this, uh, this radio. I got it primarily because of uh, all the cool things you can do with the digital. You can use it as a TNC and it can do uh, cool uh, APRS things. Uh, but uh, I also wanted to check out what it would sound like on uh, on a normal uh, voice. Um, I'm not sure what to make of uh, that test. It didn't sound great. It did pick up some hum. I'm not absolutely sure what that was, but uh, I was running, at least for the last test, I was running uh, also the uh, Vero off of battery. So whatever that noise was, it didn't come through any sort of uh, power uh, line. Um, it wasn't as bad as the uh, Vero wireless mic, not nearly as bad. And except for the hum, I thought that the, uh, the, the, the sound was pretty all right. So we'll uh, have to test some more, I think. Um, I'm guessing this is some sort of noise that it's picking up in the environment where I'm testing it. Other radios doesn't pick up as much noise in this environment. so. That's a shortcoming, but um, 
I'll have to uh, test it out some more. I'll take uh, put it in the car and uh, figure out how that works when I'm uh, when I'm actually using it in the car. There's a that is how at least I intend to use this radio anyway. Uh, let's see. There are a few more things that I discovered uh, along the way. I was uh, saying that this was just a mobile version of the VRN76. One big difference here, of course, is that uh, this microphone, it doesn't have the number keys on it. So it's not a quick and easy way to just punch in a frequency. That, I think, will be annoying if this is your only mobile uh, radio in, uh, in a car. At least it would be for me. I like to have the opportunity to enter a frequency at will without bringing out an app and connecting and all that. Uh, that is one of the uh, things that I, uh, I discovered. It's not really a big deal breaker of, uh, of any sort, but uh, yeah, uh, it would be nice if the mic actually had the number keys as well. Another thing I, uh, I noticed uh, putting uh, this uh, radio back and forth and testing is that it doesn't remember its power on state. Uh, even if you switch the radio off with uh, the uh, off switch, you unplug it and you plug it back in, it's going to start up again. Uh, I would prefer that it remembered whether or not it was uh, supposed to be on or off when it got uh, power back. The way it's set up now, it's always going to start up when you uh, turn the ignition key in your car. Maybe for someone that's, uh, that's what you want. For me, I would prefer that it remembered the power on state that it had when, uh, when it lost power. Then, uh, as you saw, there's this uh, really annoying volume control where you have to really slowly press these buttons to turn the volume up or down. Uh, that's probably an easy fix in software and I really hope uh, Vero takes the time to fix uh, that bug because it's a quality of life thing. I talked about the hum. That's, um, I don't know what that is. I'll, I'm going to have to uh, dig further into that to, to figure out uh, why that is and if I also get the same hum when I put this in my car outside of the, uh, the environment where I'm testing it here. Uh, if I don't get that hum when I'm testing it in the car, then it doesn't really matter to me. I can, I can easily live with that. The, the last thing I think should be mentioned, it's the incredibly unfinished iPhone app. I would go so far as to say, if you want to get this radio to use for APRS and a normal radio function, and you, you're not really interested in getting the uh, APRS.fi app or some other app, to do these things on the iPhone, this is not for you if you're an iPhone user. Vero needs to finish that app. There are so many cool things that you can do in the Android app that just aren't available in the iPhone app. Vero, please fix the app. I'm still gonna love this, I think. I, I don't have a problem with that, but I'm not gonna use the Vero app to do basically anything with the radio because on the iPhone, it's just unfinished. Vero finish the app please with that i think uh, i've said as much as i have uh, the patience for for this uh, evening there will be uh, a lot more tests with this uh, radio we'll be doing uh, cool things cool digital things and hopefully also we'll be testing it out on uh, repeaters and simplex and all other type of uh, voice things but primarily i got this to do packet and to do aprs and to do maybe some uh, uh, slow scan television. If you're interested in seeing that, then uh, please consider subscribing. If you like this uh, rant of a video, then please uh, give me a thumbs up. And, uh, and if you have any comments as to how I tested this, or maybe some other tests that I should have performed, or maybe an explanation of uh, this uh, hum, please consider leaving a comment below the video. I'd, uh, I'd love to, uh, to figure that one out. Other than that, I think, uh, I'll just say until next time, 7-3.